What's up guys, Milak here, and today we're back in action playing some Ark Extinction. It's gonna be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously. So, we're currently over here in German's base now. I wanted to find a location and start building the base today. And I actually have some resources crafting down in German's base just because I don't have, like, an area to craft things. So I'm kind of stealing his stuff right now. And, um... Pretty much he has all these tech plots, so pretty much free resources, and I, you know, I mean, we already kind of started building a base before, so I figured it'd be okay. Anyways, the point is, is I briefly wanted to come up here and show you these tech 2.0 plots. Uh, basically, the way these plots work is uh, they actually work with anything. If you have any sort of mod, you can, they replicate items perfectly. So what that means is all of the, the extinction stuff, you just stick one prime blood in here and the tech 2.0 plots just replicate them. So he has unlimited prime blood, he has unlimited all this stuff. Now, I won't be using his uh, extinction stuff personally, but this is definitely a future goal for us to have. And this is definitely really, really cool. So I just wanted to kind of briefly show you guys that. Now... Uh, new the monster hunter mod actually updated which you have seen you would have by now seen my video that that ha went up yesterday That showcased new creatures, so we're going to be building the base today And we're also going to be looking for um, some of the new creatures in some in the monster hunter mod We've added it to the server, so that's really cool uh, but for right now, what I uh, what I want to do is I've been making I'm making 700 glass metal ceilings. I'm gonna use the glass metal, which is good, and then I'm also making a bunch of metal ceilings right here. So I'm gonna let all this stuff craft, and uh, we're gonna fly over to the area I want to build, and uh, we'll get started. It should be pretty awesome. Okay, guys, we're back. So I've been making a mass amount of glass stuff here. Do I have? I need to increase my weight, dude. So I've been level up from crafting all the stuff. Now what I want to do is I've already kind of started in the base slightly. Uh, but what I want to do is I actually want to take, uh, I want to use these things to help me transfer resources over. Uh, so transmit arc data. Yeah, we can use this as like a tele, like just a teleporter thing. Uh, just to teleport all of our resources. It's going to be amazing. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'll grab some more resources here in a minute. I just basically wanted to show you guys that I could do that. Uh, then let's go right here. I made a teleporter for myself called ML over in the tropics. And we're going to kind of explain the idea that we have here. Okay, so Mr. Rexy Poo is right here. Okay, so uh, basically, I want to do an octagon build, or no, it's not—it's not really an octagon. It's—I don't know how many sides it has, but it's like a—you know—it's kind of like a circle, but squarey. It has the sides, that kind of thing. Uh, hopefully, this actually matches up. I didn't really. Does this gonna? Is this gonna match up? Yes, this is gonna match up perfectly. Actually, perfect. Okay. Now, now this isn't going to be the base, okay? What I'm going to do in here is inside it's going to be a giant terrarium uh, on the ground level, and we're going to have ramps that go inside and ramps that go on the outside. I might actually extend the middle platform out, but we're going to have glass that comes um, either from the outside or in the inside here. It's going to go up into a tower. Now, on the outside, on I think four different sides, we're going to have, I think, from this side to that side, and then maybe... These two sides, I'm not exactly sure. We're going to have elevators going up. So we're going to be using actual elevators. Then at the top, it's going to be a giant glass platform that goes out. Probably maybe like out to here. Something like that. And then it's going to edge up. And then we're, it's going to have a glass wall. And then it's going to have a glass roof. And basically, it's going to look kind of like a giant alien uh, spaceship or disc. Uh, after I, after it's kind of done, that's ba that's basically the plan. So it's kind of a simple design, but also a hard design at the same time. I might even do some pillars that go in on all the edges or something like that. Now for the tower, we're going to be using a glass metal mod. Um, so hopefully, actually, let me. I think I'm going to place this guy for transferring resources over. We're going to place this guy right here in the center, something like that. It doesn't really matter where it's at. We can always pick it up and uh, make it better later. And then there we go. We can just uh, straight up just grab stuff out, right? Yeah, we can just grab stuff out. So, yeah, this is an easy way to transfer resources over. And then now the question is, is do we want to use the inside or do we want to use the outside? I'm not sure exactly. We also need to make sure that there's a way to get inside on all the corners. So, what I might do is I might do glass right here. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. See, the problem with this mod is if you screw something up, oh, I have the demolishing gun. I didn't even think about that. I can just use the demolishing gun. Anyways, we, we can do that to pick them back up, I think. Let's see if you can use, actually use this to pick things up. Let's put that there, and then let's use this. And does this give it back to me? Yes, it does. Okay, sweet. 
Uh, so yeah, we don't have to worry about that, I guess. And then we're going to make uh, make a few of these sides entrances. Oh my god, I keep messing this up. This is absolutely horrible. But yeah, I think you guys kind of get the basic idea and gist of what I want to do. I'm completely screwing everything up right here. Yeah, so four of these sides are going to be entrances. Glass is going to go up. I think I'm probably going to go about 20, 25 tall. And then we're going to start working the platform. So I guess I'll see you guys here in a little bit. A little bit for you. Hours for me, probably, maybe. Okay, guys, we're back. So I've been doing some more stuff. This is a while later. Pretty much a lot later. Uh, we are going to place down a bulk reactor right here just temporarily. I'm going to go and activate the reactor. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick uh, a crystal right under here, which is powered. And a crystal right under here, which is also powered. Uh, is Skull stealing my thing out there? I think he's stealing my thing. Uh, also, I used S plus uh, elevator tracks, and it appears that they snap perfectly to the back of these, which is really good. And they're also perfectly one block tall. What I want to do is I want to stick the elevator right there. We got a giant glass elevator, which is amazing. And uh, this is going to be our way up to the top. Yes, perfect. Let's go ahead and elevate this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is so cool, guys. This is so cool. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to keep building this all the way up. Now, the cool thing about the elevator tracks is, uh, yep, then, nope, and then elevate. Yes, okay. The cool thing about the elevator tracks is uh, the S-plus ones, they snap, right? But, actually, I don't even remember where my train of thought was even going with that, to be honest. I'm just going to stop talking. Uh, but yeah, we made it up to the top. Now, the, I, this is actually this whole uh, p tower of power here is like 25 blocks tall or so. Oh, yeah. Anyways, the cool thing about the elevator tracks I remember now is you can actually build like 10 or 15 blocks above you, which I thought was kind of strange. Uh, let's go ahead and de-elevate, uh, stop, elevate. Yeah, so you can build really high above you. So I was able to actually build pretty far. But yeah, this actually will take us perfectly to the top. And with S+, plus, it'll snap perfectly at the right level. Yeah, guys, look at this. This is amazing. Is that skull? Please tell me that skull. Also, I found a Lagiacrus over there in the lake. So that's actually pretty deep and has some like uh, sw or some sea creatures in it. Uh, but yeah, we can start building. Uh, is this yeah weight fourteen hundred out of three thousand? I kind of wish this had like unlimited weight. Maybe the S plus ones do. Uh, but anyways, we can start building the top part here. I'm gonna build I think the middle out of uh, glass, and then we'll probably connect the edges with metal. And all that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to have glass go down the edges. This whole tower is 25 tall. I just wanted to brief you, uh, bring, uh, briefly bring you back to tell you what I've been doing. And uh, to show you the amazing elevator here. This is pretty sweet, though. Okay, guys. So this is like a couple days later. I tried to get this done. But yesterday was absolutely crazy with the release of Conan and also the Ark update. Now, uh, I, I want to know something. Do my videos look choppy at all? Because I never really noticed it. Uh, because right now, I'm getting some good frames. Like, I don't know how good they are. They're probably like 50 or 60 or 70 or 80 or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, but they should be smooth. But I actually uploaded the um, the update video, and it appeared really choppy on YouTube. And I had some people comment about it. I was like, hey, listen, I get good frames. Uh, what I think it was is uh, to d make those three videos, the update video and also the, um, the Osiris video. Not the Osiris. The uh, Codan video, uh, I spent like 14 hours yesterday from wake up until I passed out. I was working on those videos, and I think maybe my computer was just dead at that point. I have no idea. Since then, I've restarted it, so hopefully everything's better. Um, uh, luckily, I had the Monster Hunter video already done from the previous day. Anyways, uh, that's the reason why this video here is going to be late, just because I slept like 12 hours because I was up for so long. And uh, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, I uh, I also worked on this base yesterday uh, quite a lot. We had a rollback with a crash, so I, but luckily the tower is still here. I just had to redo the elevators. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we have built so far. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool shape actually. I just need to do the glass all the way out, and then I need to re. Um, I actually tried to place. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this right here. I tried to place, well, I don't have any glass metal, but I tried to place uh, glass metal in the center here thinking these would uh, uh, su supply foundation support, but apparently it's too high up, so I can't do the glass metal right here, which is unfortunate. I kind of wish the glass metal also had an option in the config to change it to where uh, you can pick them up, first of all, and then you could also make them where they don't need foundation support or any of that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and jump down here. Actually, let's see if we can time this with Kratos. Did I jump too far? Okay, yeah, I got it. Nice. Okay, pro moves right there. Okay. So, 
this is what it looks like so far. Now, I'm going to do some sort of alien shapes here uh, or some kind of crazy shape. So this is going to be the base of the, the building here. And you can imagine uh, once I make this uh, the op uh, opacity uh, not where you can't see through. And then it's going to be glass all the way out. And then we're going to have it actually ramp out and then go up and then ramp back in. And then the t bottom here is going to be duplicated on the top. And uh, that should look really fantastic. And the whole line edge of the, the walls here going up is going to be glass and also a mix of glass and metal. So it's going to look pretty nice. With this shape, I think it's going to look pretty good. I'm also probably going to try to do some things with the tip. I'm going to remove that one piece of glass right there. And then we're going to have it go out and in. It's going to look like... Some kind of alien formation, kind of. That's kind of like the goal. I want it to look really cool. And uh, I really want to focus on the base this time. I realize in my previous series, we always start bases. We never really finish them. I'm going to be working extra hard. And I plan on Extinction to actually last uh, just as long as, like, Anunnaki Season 2, which was, like... 80 episodes or something something like that. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I'm working on this uh, This is probably all we're gonna work on today I might work on it a little bit maybe finish some of the glass in some of the places and then I'll work on it some more off-camera I think what we're gonna do now is actually I'm gonna work on this a tiny bit more I want to really get I want to finish the center and I want to want to work on the chest area here soon I think that's the first thing we're gonna work inside of this is we're gonna do a giant pillar in the center and then we're gonna use the tech tier um, uh, the tech ISO mod uh, chest wall chest or whatever and probably use some cool lights and stuff too to kind of give it like an alien spaceship look Or we'll probably do lights on the outside so it kind of like glows on the inside when you're looking in and all that kind of stuff uh, But yeah, my only problem so far is the elevators are pretty slow So yeah, this is a thing. I guess I could use teleporters, uh, but I kind of like the elevators even though they're slow We can always just fly up here with the creature if we need to go up here fast um, And eventually we'll have tech armor that we can just fly up in here with so that'd be pretty cool but yeah, I really like this. I like the design. Tell me what you guys think if you have any ideas or anything like that. I would greatly appreciate it, but I'm going to work on this a little bit more. Actually, speaking of that, we don't want to... Here, let's, here let's, let's just go down. I need to actually go to German's base and grab some more materials. I feel like I'm just like I'm, I'm just stealing all of German's materials, which is funny. Uh, we need to really work on resource crops on our own, but I'm going to wait until I get this base done, and we'll do resource crops in there somewhere. I'm actually probably going to have a uh, area that extends out from the base, so we'll make that a pure platform of just resource crops. Now, I'm making, let's see, I wonder if all this made right here. Actually, I am pretty laggy right now. I don't know. I'm not sure, guys. I don't know why I'm laggy. Maybe the map is just slightly more laggy than I'm used to. Uh, but, yeah, look, I have. I've been making some of this right here. And mostly, I've just used, like, I. this is all I crafted because that's all I could craft, really. But, yeah, I think I'm going to use these right here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back. Okay, guys, so I finished changing all the transparency for all the lines right here, all the middle ones. I haven't done all the edges, of course. That's going to take even longer. Uh, it's taken me quite a while. Doing these is slightly annoying, but as you can see, uh, we've changed them to where they're opaque on both sides. I think it looks pretty good. Now, imagine the center here being opaque. Now, what I might end up doing, actually, is doing a metal triangle in the center of these to kind of give a little bit more of a, uh, a design or style. It actually seems like I've missed one of these. Let's go ahead and fix this guy real quick uh where's that i think it's right here yep let's go ahead and do transparency uh okay it looks like we're a little out of the range right here but yeah yeah basically i think at this point you guys understand what i'm trying to do i uh, will probably do metal metal triangles in the center right here and do glass around the edge just do some cool designs and make it look really cool and like i said it's going to edge out then go up then edge back in and then be flat on the top and uh, it should look pretty awesome. I think I'm going to use the green glass on the edges. I really wish I could have used the green glass right here because I would have liked to have had some transparency in the center. And then just the basic normal glass doesn't look, really look as good, good, which is the reason I like the green glass mod so much. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest. But uh, we're working on it. Tell me what you guys think. And I think for now, I'm done with the base uh, for this episode. And we are going to go out and tame some stuff. Okay, guys, we're back. So, I've been searching around the lava island. I'm pretty sure we sit, uh, we made the Agnactor uh, spawns here. I'm still not sure if I'm saying that right. Anyways, I'm on uh, Rathia, Lath Rathalus. I think I'm on Rathalus right now. Uh, I still need to name this dude. I still need to look through the comments or whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, we found one of these guys he's pretty high level too i've seen a couple of them but they've always been real low level and i always like to try to tame something that's at least over level 100 i think our max level is like 180 right now we might end up increasing that in the future um i've played with like the extremely high level like at level a thousand all that stuff and honestly it doesn't really change anything it doesn't make them harder to tame all it really does is just change their stats so well i mean i guess it makes it hard to tame as in it takes more things to knock them out but honestly that's not really ever been a, a problem at least not in modded 
Uh, but anyways, we got this guy right here. I don't know what his stats are. What I want to do is I want to like land up here. Hopefully nothing attacks us. I do know that there is skeletal wyverns around here. And then let's go ahead and look at his stats wherever he is. Uh, where are you, bro? Yeah, you're right there. So, uh, level 116. I haven't actually, uh, let's see, and 12,000 torpor. Dude, this guy is going to be super, super easy to knock out. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead, yeah, since he's going to not take that long to knock out at all, I'm just going to land down here. That way, I don't have to have a chance of losing this dude. And then we're just going to tame this guy. Now, I haven't tamed this guy legit before. Uh, besides in my little video, I didn't really tame. I just force tamed him. So, I don't know. I don't know if he has, like... Oh, is he down? Oh, oh, there's a there's a dodo. He's down. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dodo, 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 dodo. Don't do this to me. Don't do that. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Screw the dodo. Here, let's... Here, kill, dead. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. Zombie dodo is dead. Let's go ahead. That dude's knocked out. Let's grab some... What's attack me? No, okay, hopefully nothing is attacking Agnactor over here. Make sure to post name suggestions for this dude. Uh, so he is down. We did. We knocked him out really extremely fast. Let's give him prime meat. Now I don't know if these guys have special kibble or what. Oh, 75%. No, that's fine. That's fine. He's level 150. That's actually a good level. Actually, let's go and check out his stats. So. 22,000. Now, this is one of the new creatures they added. They added the Great Baggy, the Great Jaggy. They added the Agnactor. And then they also added the Glacial version of this guy. Now, I'm not sure where the Glacial version spawns. I'm assuming... Uh, by the way, if anyone wants to know how to, how to put these creatures in, the, in your world, there's a discussion in the Monster Hunter uh, forum on their, on their uh, mod page that has all the, the spawns. And they, they put these spawns in like good locations with good spawn rates and all that kind of stuff. So we have them all over the world. They spawn in correct locations and all that kind of stuff. Um, now the Glacial, I'm assuming, is going to probably spawn in a cold area, right? Here, let's have this guy follow us. And I'm going to stick some stuff up on our dude here and then let's go out and start killing some stuff with this dude we want to we probably want to like test out his moves his abilities make him super powerful i'm thinking we probably want him to be extremely powerful right so we probably want to increase a lot of melee damage so yeah let me let me go ahead and stick some stuff on this dude and then we might even take this dude home i'm trying to figure out what weighs the most really that i can just stick up uh probably the the forge uh and yeah some other stuff here let me figure this out real quick Oh yeah, never mind. Never mind. This is why I weigh so much. It's because of all these building pieces. Hopefully this dude doesn't die because I don't want to lose my building pieces. Uh, we actually really at some point need to stick all of our stuff up. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get on this guy. What's up, man? So he should be able to move around now. Now, by default, they're not extremely quick, but you can press uh, space. And they do dig underground, as you can see. Uh, normally, I read up on these dudes. Apparently, they, they swim through lava, and they also dig straight through uh, volcanic rock. So, I don't know. I don't know if the Monster Hunter dude has made this guy immune to lava or not. But in the actual Monster Hunter games, they are immune to lava, which is pretty cool. Uh, and they do have a special beam here. Let's go ahead. Here, let me, let me get in K mode here. Let's go ahead. So, uh, all this clicking you're hearing is actually their bites. I guess they have, like, really strong bites or something. Um, and then let's go ahead and right click. Right click is a beam. Okay, no, no. Right click is a, uh, a roar. And then is R the beam? Or no, is C the beam? Yeah, yeah. C is the beam. C is the beam. Look how sweet that look, guys. That looks so cool. Okay, so we need to level this dude up. Actually, you might want to do... How much movement speed do you get? You get about two point... How much... Uh, Okay, we probably want to do, to get this guy to be pretty good, we probably want to do melee damage, and I would like to maybe get his movement speed up, but we can just dig under the ground if we want to do that. Um, here, okay, let's let's have this dude follow us, okay, let's dig under the ground, hopefully we can't get collision this way, and then when you're under the ground, you're like extremely fast, except for I think this guy's a little overweight. Oh, no, 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 look at this, look at this, yeah, yeah, he's, um, do you just go, no, he doesn't actually go through things, he still has collision. Uh, which I don't know if there's any way to really avoid that. Uh, because, I mean, technically he is underground. But I think they just, like, make him invisible or something. I don't know how it works, really. But, anyways, this guy's cool. Actually, we could try to kill a Titan for experience. I don't know how much they're worth. Let's see. 274,000 health? Uh, that might not go over too well. Uh, we also have... What is that? Is that a, is that a skeletal... No, it's Skeletal Bronto. Okay, yeah, those guys are a little dangerous. I don't want to... I don't really... I can't really fight any of these dudes with my brand new tame. We might be able to take out the Stego, though. Possibly. Here, let's uh, let's fire a, a sustained beam at this dude. What's up, bro? You think you can handle the mate? You can't handle the mate. Okay, let's do this. And then let's do... Uh, actually, let's... Let, dude, I hate the beam weapon. 
Oh yeah, baby. Wait, are you are you angry? Why are you angry? No, don't be angry. Don't be angry. No, 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 no. Okay, here. Uh, uh pass it. Follow. Pass. Pass. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Okay, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. The Titan is angry for some reason. We 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 do not want to. Okay, here. No, go underground. Go underground. Go underground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me let me take the bird dude home and then we'll come back. Actually, I probably need uh maybe we should make a teleporter to the lava island here. Let me come over here. We're gonna make a teleporter and then uh, we're gonna head back and then teleport back. Okay, guys. So we have uh, made it back to base. I made a teleporter, so lava teleporter is actually hooked up now. Now we have nothing to worry. Actually, I probably should have dropped some more stuff off just because this guy is extremely overweight right now. Uh, but that is perfectly fine. Okay, so let's uh, let's go level him up, I guess. Oh, there's a Titan right there. What's up, Titan? Uh, hopefully we're fine. You know, I actually need to get into the Antinode mod. We have that on this. Also, we added that Dragon mod. And uh, the Dragon mod is pretty cool. It actually has like Pygmy Dragon. Oh, does this actually hurt him? I don't know if this hurts him or not. Oh, do we do like significantly less damage to this guy? Um, yeah, so the dragon mod actually has like pygmy dragons you stick on your shoulder and all kinds of crazy stuff. That would be pretty cool. Here, let's. So I'm actually, I'm actually kind of sad. Oh my god, this isn't, this isn't gonna work out at all, is it? No, 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 no. We definitely need to level up because these guys are just doing way, 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 way too much damage to us. Yeah, so fighting skeletals with this dude is definitely not an option right now. Maybe in the future, actually. What am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? What's happening? I don't understand. Why am I so slow? Oh, wait. You know what? I'm not out of stamina. Why am I so slow? I don't understand. I'm I'm slow. I can't I can't move. Oh okay, wait. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That was so weird. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna need to fight some. Oh, there's a little mini. Oh my God. They're tribesmen that shoot rockets at us. That's definitely not what we want. What we want right now. Yeah, anyways, Dragon Mod is sweet. I want to tame one of those little pygmy dragons, put on my shoulder, and there's also a little, uh, there's like different stages, um, like juvenile and adult and all that kind of stuff, and they just seem really cool. I mostly just want the pygmy and maybe the one, the, the smallest one, but up from that. Okay, guys, so I've been leveling up uh, this dude for a little while now, um, and he has around 50,000 uh, experience, but I got his health up to 41,000. They gained quite a bit of health. I think it's like 800 per level. And uh, I've been also leveling up the melee damage a little bit. I'm probably going to leave the health about where it is and just continue in melee damage up until like maybe eight or nine hundred percent. I'm not really sure. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, by the way, this biome makes everything saturated, so everything looks really, really cool. Uh, so it, does it not? Um, does it not increase the damage of the beam? When do you increase melee damage? If it doesn't, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. I was hoping to make like a super tear beam. Uh, that would be amazing. Here, let's um, here, let's let's shoot a beam right here. Let's see. It's so hard to aim the beam. There we go. We got it. Because you can't really see. But yeah, the beam is pretty cool. Actually, let's uh, let's go into this and let's do the beam right on his face, bro. Yeah, baby, dude, look at that, man. That looks so good. Now. I noticed in my video whenever I was playing with the glacial one, the gla a, a wild glacial one actually pushed me back extremely far, but it seems like the fire lava version doesn't really push back. Or maybe that's just something that wild creatures do. Or maybe there's no knockback on this dude's beam yet. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, the glacial one, the wild glacial one actually pushed me back quite a, quite a bit. Uh, which I think it'd be kind of cool to have major knockback on this beam, just because it, it like it seems so powerful that it actually knocks back his giant body. Now these these guys are actually pretty massive. You can't really tell because I'm like riding inside of them. But if we do like a comparison, like look how massive he is, dude. He's just a giant creature. He's just like a giant lava serpent leviathan creature. He just looks crazy. Hey, he looks really really crazy. Okay, so I'm going to, what I really want to do is I noticed this dude is a female. I kind of want to fly around to see if we can get a male version of this dude and maybe breed them. So that might be the goal for today. So I was looking at the Agnactors uh, spawning. Apparently they can spawn in mountains, uh, in the lava cave and all that kind of stuff. Also, one thing, I, I messaged Psycho earlier and I told him, I was like, dude, you got to totally add the sheep. You gotta make an alpha sheep, either an alpha or a prime sheep, like a giant sheep. Even make like a, imagine like a sheep scion. That would be sick. So I messaged, I messaged uh, him that earlier. I, I, he hasn't responded yet, but I'm kind of curious to see what he says. Uh, I think that would be a really funny idea. It would be cool and it would be funny at the same time. Now, I'm not really sure what's considered mountain on this uh, map. I haven't really learned everything yet. I'm assuming part of that area is mountain over there, but I don't know if these floating islands might also be considered mountain or if they have their own like special biomes. It looks like there's no spawns really up here. Well, actually, there's the Indominus up here. 
Yeah, it just looks like there's a couple Indominuses and Dragon Gods, but nothing else besides that. Of course, oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. That's not, oh, oh, look, there's uh, Morella Tops up here. Okay, so is this, I don't know what this would be. Is this like planes or something? I have no idea what this is up here. Uh, but I'm going to check around. I'm going to continue looking. I'm having a hard time finding multiple Agnactors. Uh, what I want to do is maybe just get a male version, and maybe next time we'll actually breed them. Also, there's this giant island over here. I think a lot of these islands aren't actually done yet. They're kind of like a work in progress so far. Uh, I don't think there's any spawns over here. No, it doesn't look like. Not yet, anyways. Yeah, it's all it's all kind of barren. Also, keep in mind that a lot of these biomes actually look better, but I have my ground clutter and then all that kind of stuff turned all the way off. So you don't see a lot of the bushes and stuff like over in the lava biome and then where my base is and all that kind of stuff. You don't see all the bushes. Now, my computer goes down to like 18 frames or 10 frames whenever I do that. Not that low, but it's pretty low. Yeah, there's going to be all kinds of like different floating islands and stuff here. Okay, guys, so I've been looking around for a while. I might go ahead and call the episode here. One thing I have noticed, though, is we might actually do this here pretty soon, but I want to do the Agnactor first. Uh, but these Gobels and these Lagiacruses, I'm, by the way, I could be saying all this kind of stuff long, uh, wrong, but, uh, yeah, they kind of spawn everywhere in my biome. I've seen, like, 15 of the, uh, the, yeah, these guys right there, the Lagias, um, around, and then the Gobels are around here too like the giant mouth um giant things whatever the heck they are uh these things right here yeah actually there's two of them right here look and one of the lagias is actually dead right here yeah that's, let's see what level these guys are i'm very interested in taming all these guys and kind of like breed them and stuff but i don't want to do like too much here let's see this guy is level 16 uh i don't think they can come out of the water we could go ahead and shoot this guy to death what's up bro and you're dead <laughs> Just directly shoot it in the face. I want to make one more pass around uh, some mountains to see if we can find another Agnactor, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I've checked around the map again. I haven't seen any, so I think we're going to go ahead and call this here. Uh, the base is looking good. I'm going to work on it a little bit more. Go ahead and post name suggestions for the uh, the new guy that we tamed down below. And also, I'll look, uh, I'll look at last episode for name suggestions for this time next time. And I'll also look for name suggestions for this guy next time as well. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I love your faces. I'll see you guys in the next one.